Let us pray. We are, we are praying. Um, dear Lord, this evening, help us to understand this nature of this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, so. So, before, before tricky questions, we have to look at um, before tricky questions. Uh -huh. Before tricky questions, we have to look at graphs. Graphs of sine. Cosine Ah uh, yeah graphs of uh, sine cosine no sine no not tank so these graphs are drawn on the x or y plane they are drawn on the x or y plane here. All the graphs, whether sine or cos, cannot exceed 1 or negative 1. So whatever we'll be doing will not be exceeding 1. Or negative one those are the highest values that a trigonometry function can take its amplitude so let's start with the graph of sine so we are going to look at an example which will say sketch a graph of y is equals to sine theta for the in for zero degrees less or equal to theta less or equal to three sixty copy that question Have we copied the question? Uh -huh. Ladies. Okay now. Um so they want us to sketch this graph. So every time they give you to sketch, you have to draw the the X. Oh, I this is the x this is the y remember i said the highest number you can have is one you can't exceed one so the number should range from zero to 90 degrees after 90, 90 plus uh, 
ninety plus ninety that's one eighty. That's one eighty. Ninety plus one eighty, that's two seventy. Then three sixty. So when they ask you to sketch numbers, should range from that. So they've given you one zero to one eighty, meaning numbers should move from zero to one eighty, just like that. And for us to sketch, we draw a cut table of values. Kumuruku. A cut table of values. Which would contain X, Y, starting from uh, 0 here. I mean 90. The X should contain these angles, 90 degrees. Actually, we start from 0. Start from 0. 90, 180, 180, 180, 180, I don't know why it's let me start, we start here. Okay, so let's draw this table. X, Y, 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Do we have calculators? Yes. So let's punch sign zero. We have to start punching these numbers. Punch sign zero. What do you get? What's, we are punching sign because you've been given to sketch sign. Y equals sign. Theta. What are we getting for sign zero? Zero. Zero. So you write zero in this table. Punch sign 90. One. So you write one here. Punch sign 180. Zero. Zero. So write zero here. Sign 270. Negative one. Negative one. Punch. Yeah. 360 is zero. So every time they ask you to to sketch. That is how you should draw. That is how you should draw the the the, the, the what the table. So here we start. This, this one comes in paper one or paper two. Paper two. This month we are looking at paper two. The whole of this month. Okay. Mm -hmm. The whole of this month we'll be looking at paper two. It comes in paper two under trigonometry. Palast it has nothing to do with Yama Fima diagrams here. So it's a different topic. So here we are indicating zero comma zero it's here. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. 
Are you following? Uh, Let us join this. Uh, we join. We started from here to here to there and here. So that's a graph of sign. Also, the the you only connect where there are zeros, eh? where you're getting the zeros. Hmm. Repeat your question. The points you only put the more you're getting the zeros, where you're finding the answer is zero. Yes. Like here we found zero comma zero, so that's why we have put it here. Ninety comma one, it is here. One eighty comma zero, it is here. Two seventy comma negative one, it is here. Three sixty comma zero, it is here. That is how you draw that. Uh, sketch. If they said up to one eight, it could have ended up to here. If they said up to two seventy, it ends up to here. If they say three sixty, it ends here. This picture manga. Yes, me. This uh, value is uh, one eight box, whatever you are calling it, is the one we are supposed to use all the time. Yes, it is the one that you are supposed to use all the time. Uh -huh. So uh, let's do the second, the other question. Uh, copy this question, but I want it to be written graph of sine, graph of sine six, eh? graph of cosine, graph of cosine theta. We should read graph, sketch the graph of cosine theta for this. Copy that question, pass, pass. Are we done coping? Mm -hmm. Madam Michelle, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Me, yeah, I'm okay. How are you? I'm tired. Ah, Kasako, <laughs> my name. I've been standing since zero eight hours. And this is the time that I am uh, ending talking to you. are the last people that I talk to. I talk non-stop from eight hours to twenty-one hours. I'd cover. We are done copying. Hey, I'm in class. I'm in class. Can you leave me alone? Can you go? Now, um, let's go to. So I had mentioned that you have to draw an X or Y plane every time you indicate your X, you indicate your Y. Every time the highest number you can have is one, 
the lowest number you can have is negative one always start from zero go to 90 go to 180 to 270 to 360 unless they've specified where to end yes but if they haven't they will up to 360 and then draw the diagram here draw the diagram indicate your x indicate your y put zero here put 90 put 180 put 180 put 270 and then uh, put uh, Three sixty. Put three sixty here. Yeah, three sixty at the end here. Yeah. Uh huh. So let's start punching. We are punching for sign. So what's cos zero? Using a calculator. We are using a calculator. Cos zero, what have you found? Cos 90, you have to indicate there. Zero. If it doesn't give you anything, it's zero. Cos 180. Negative one. Negative one. Cos 270. Not giving anything, that's zero. Cos 360 positive 1. So let's indicate here. Now indicating uh, zero comma one is here. Are you seeing that? Uh -huh. Ninety comma zero is here. One eighty comma negative one is here. Two seventy it is here. 360 comma negative 1 it is here oh sorry 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 it is here then you join It has to be free hand, not where you use your finger, no. But free hand, yeah. Just once, huh? So that's how you draw the graphs. Very straightforward. I don't have you. Are we there? Huh? Are we following? Yes. Yeah, that's so. Now we are now looking at solving equations. Solving equations.
Chavanga got a question. Yes, madam. Fire upon upon Apple School. Chavanga. A graph of shells shall it be on a graph there? Ah, uh-uh. this can cover the whatever you do it. You got two marks here. Cover the upper points if you. It's under which topic? Under trigonometry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's, a la- it's like oh, a last yeah, question. But okay. I say it's a question. Yeah, it is. Whatever I teach you comes. Okay, uh, so let's do this. Uh, Tricky questions. Yeah, but so. Um, these things that you've learned at sign. Cosine na quite a for the touch tang. It's a ratio. These are three ratios. These three ratios they have where they stay. They have where they have their regions. I mean, it's like if I want to a madam Jen Kwai Bekshi wa Madam Chari Kuchilanga na wa Mubanga Mkabwata. Eba vini? Uh-huh. So even these uh, ratios, they have where they, they, they stay. They have their own regions, right? Called quadrants. So when you hear quadrants, they are just regions of color. There are four quadrants, four of them. Okay. There are four quadrants. Quadrants one, quadrants two, quadrants three, quadrants four. So what did I say? Quadrants are just regions where these are found. Eh? So in the which quadrants one, it's up to what it turned up to ninety degrees, meaning it can move up to ninety. Quadrants two, it's a region that can't exceed one eighty. Quadrants three, it's a region that cannot exceed two seventy. Quadrants three, it's a region that cannot exist that can't exceed two sixty. So. Uh, sign it can am quadrant one, quadrant two, sorry. Okay, in quadrant two, sign no more. Ava tang have am quadrant three as positive, even here, sign as positive. Course, you have am quadrant four as positive. Did you, uh, Madam Serena? Quadrants are just regions where angles lie. Like in and you, Madam, you've got your own house. We can't come and disturb your house. So, meaning you are positive there in your quadrant, okay? In your house. Madam Jane, you've got your own house. You are positive there in your own house. Madam Michelle, we have your own house, you are positive, I have my own house, I'm positive. What am I saying? If if it happens that sign is found in a different quadrant, then it is not going to be positive, it is going to be negative. Showing that it's not going to have all the powers, all the rights of that house. I'm using very just normal examples for you to understand. 
Yes, if I come to your house, Madam Serena, you welcome me, but trust me, I won't be free as I can be in my own house. I'll be a negative in your house. So, that's what these quadrants are. So, when you see Tang here, Tang is simply negative. When you see horse here, it is simply negative. When you see sign here, it is negative. When you see when you see tongue here in the second, it is negative. When you see course here, it is negative. Fire on figure or fire is confused. We are just Hello, saying, Craig. we are just saying, I'm a quadrant. They are just, I'm a places. Each of them has their own places. Always sign its places second quadrant. Turn its places third. Course is fourth. But each of these can be found in any. But if it is in a foreign quadrant, it is negative. Okay? And uh -huh. me, me, Madam Michelle, Madam Serena, Madam Jane, to the Wanga four. Born singer to Aku Chait, we are all holy. We are all positive. Tababa negative, which is so all of them in quadrant one, they are positive. Sign is plus. Course. Is plus. Tang is plus. In quadrant one, they are all positive. They are all free to express themselves. Can you change the chat, Idira? I'm a madam, Michelle. I'm going to walk change him. But walk change, you won't see to kapuska. Now. Each quadrant has a formula. Very straightforward. I want you to get me right. Each quadrant has a formula. Each quadrant has a formula. Well, uh, for the first one, it doesn't have a formula. It just whatever you find is the answer in the first quadrant. But in quadrant two, the formula is 180 degrees minus the answer that you found here. In quadrant three, it's 180 plus theta. In quadrant four, it is a 360 minus theta. Those are very important. We ask what the formula formula is. They are just three. 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, 360 minus theta. Have we copied those? Yes. So now, how do we find these things? I mean, uh, let's look at an example. Ngayapwe, you just log in for the short part. It just means the short part, but the meeting will end. But just log in quickly, quickly. Ngayapwe. Uh, solve the equation. Solve the equation. Uh, solve the equation sine theta is equals zero point two five for zero degrees less or equal to theta less or equal to one eight degrees. Copy that question fast fast. Two marks. It only carries two marks. Why very straightforward? Mm. 
Solve the equation sin theta is equals to 0 0.25 for 0 degrees less or equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Have we done that? First, they have given us sine theta is equals to 0 0.25. We need to press shift. We need to change this into an angle. So I want you to press shift on your calculator. You need to find the sine inverse. So press shift on a calculator. It should appear something like this. It should appear something like like this on your calculator when you press shift sign 0 0.25 i also have a calculator here uh, i i press shift sign 0 0.25 i am getting 14.4775129 14 i am getting I am getting theta is equals to 14 point. I 14 point what? 477. Seven. Uh, 14 point four seven. Seven. Five. Five. Okay, th those are that's fine. There are too many the numbers. Angles, these are angles. Angles, you always correct one decimal place. So it's 14.5 degrees. Angles, we put degrees. So that is our first answer. Oh, in most cases, there are about two answers or three. So. Mayo. Ah, wait, I'm going to go to the house. Now, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. That was my mother. My lovely mother. Are we following? My mother was calling, so I've told her that I've got an online class. She has a deed. Whew. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So we have found our answer to be 14.5 degrees. Right? Now, if you look at the question carefully, they have given you 180, they've given you something like 0 degrees less or equal to theta, uh, less or equal to 180. Are you following? Hey, is anybody following? Hey, Okay. So, they've given us... Uh, a restriction here that answer shouldn't ex exceed 180. Answer should not exceed 180. So therefore, we will subtract. We'll use this formula. Are you following? What's going on? You people, can you respond? Madam Selena, Jane, and Madam Michelle. I, I can't be teaching that response. Oh, my name is watch the mute. <laughs> Are you listening? Sorry, I was on mute. I didn't hear anything. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was saying they have given our answer. We found our answer to be 14.5. Uh, 
Now, how do you find the second answer? You've been given a restriction that answer should be from zero theta. Uh, what is meeting? Yeah, in case you don't know me, this is Professor Umbanga. This is the man who has been behind the, the camera. I'm at home. I am um, doing my online class here at home. So thank you very much. Let me continue. Admito. Uh -huh. So I was saying, uh, how do you find the second answer? Because the first answer you have is 14.5 degrees. So I was saying you've been given the restrictions. You use the restrictions and also what you've been given. So if you look at it carefully, here they are saying the meaning here is that no answer can exceed 180. So And then you have also been given sign. If you remember, sign is positive here. If you remember, where is sign found? First, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. It's uh, the second, the second uh -huh. one. So, so it's one. So what, what is the formula? The what is the found. formula in the second quadrant? One eight. One eight minus. Minus theta. Theta is what you found here. So you are saying 180 minus uh, 14.5 degrees. Can somebody help us to do this? 14.5 to give us something like 0. 0.3. Uh, it's 165.5. 165.5. One sixty-five point five degrees. That those are your answers. That's all. So your answers are fourteen point three degrees and the one sixty-five point five degrees. Let's look at another example. So behind there. So when we found 14.5, we now use the formula, the 180 degrees minus the theta. Yes, why are we using yes. why are we using 180? Because it can't pass 180. Not only that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the formula for the second quadrant. Not only that, but you've been given sign. And sign being positive can only happen in the second quadrant where you have 180 minus theta. So even if we were so, given 360, but as long as we're in the second quadrant, you say 180 minus theta, meaning 360 can be used. Because we're in the second quadrant. Mm -hmm. yes. And then the answer you found 165.5. Yes. Tabuanga, repeat your, your last statement, Tabu. My last statement. And also, the, what you, is it in degrees or what? It's in degrees. It's in degrees. Okay. Uh, you can only understand the last statement if we look at this question. Uh, solve the equation. Okay. 
solve the equation uh, solve the equation sine theta is equal to 0 0.64 or zero degrees less or equal to theta less or equal to three six seven. That's the only way you can understand the last statement. Copy this, ladies. I think I've understood Chamanga. It's mm -hmm. in the question we were taught there. Eh? We want to use, right? Yes. Okay, now I've understood. Okay. So let's find our angle for this guy. Can you press shift sign this? What are you finding to be your theta? Thirty nine point seven eight. Twenty nine point thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine point eight. So thirty nine point eight degrees. That's our first answer as theta. Okay. So always the first answer is in the first quadrant. It represents the first quadrant. So now this is where you're checking. Are you going to subtract from 360 or not? Uh -huh. So we can't subtract from 360 because we know that positive sign. It is only in the second quadrant. So we are still using 180 minus theta. So 360 will have nothing to do here. So we we'll say 180 minus 39.8 degrees. What you get is the answer. Take forward. Are we following? Uh -huh. So, now, even if they were to give you... So, to end this session, let's end it this way. Let's discuss in this way. So, you'll be copying these questions and then we'll just be talking on how to do them. Then you'll copy them. Otherwise, we have a very straightforward. Now, you've seen, I always teach in a very orderly manner. Have you seen anything about cosine rule, a angle, add this in a triangle? Anything to do with this? You should test by Madame Jane. You should test distance H. <laughs> so, so, don't worry about Vangavadu. So this topic is far from what we were doing. Total different. Uh -huh. So imagine if I was given, imagine if I was given a course. So if this was my course, so you which you copy that question, and then here I am given a, a 30, a 32. After finding theta, are you going to subtract from 360 or not? You are going to subtract from 360. Why? Because it's in the fourth quad quadrant. Uh -huh. Course, positive course is in the fourth what? Quadrant. Ah, you are following. Okay, so I believe you that question is copied. I'll just be changing on this same thing here. 
And then if I was given a tongue, which is the last one, if I was given tongue, theta, and then this side, I am given um, two, two. Am I going to subtract from three sikisti? Uh -uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to no, add. Uh-uh. No, this one is no. 270. It will go back to the, to the 90 here because that's, that's the one which accommodates everyone. Check the formula that I gave you. I said one eight plus theta. That is in one the eight third plus theta. We are in the third quadrant. Yes. So it's one eight plus theta. Yes, because of the tongue. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. Uh, are we following? Yeah. We'll use one oh. because of the feet, yes. Yes, the manga, you're right. Mm. I think that is correct, yeah. So, end of topic. Mr. Manga. Me. So, when you're given the, the negative question, that's when now you introduce the other ones, isn't it? Yes, when you're given a negative question, that's when you introduce the other ones now. Okay. Yeah. So if if an event I was given something like sine sine theta is equals to negative zero point four eight. Mm. When typing, don't type together with the sign with a negative. Just type <laughs> sine sine zero point forty eight. Don't type with the negative. The negative is just showing you that it's not in the original quadrant. So type for me sign 0 0.48. point seven. That's our first answer. Now, you check. Where do you see, where do you find sign negative? Where? Where, 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 where can... In, uh, where, where, in, uh, uh, in the third and the fourth. Very one, good. Right? So what are the formulas there? What are the formulas in the third? One, eight, eight. Plus the 28.7. Yes, and also 360 minus this. So here nice. it is 180 plus 28.7. Someone should do that for me. 360 minus 28.7. What are we getting? Two zero eight point seven. Two zero eight point seven. Then the other one is this. Do we thirty one point three? So the what's the conclusion? When the when the angle is negative, there are three answers. When the angle is negative, there are three answers. Answer number one, answer number two, answer number three. One, two, three. When the angle is positive, there are just two answers. The first answer and its original quadrant. That's all. In Tonga, we say Kwamana. Mchibembati Chapwa. Nyanja Kwasila. In laws, I don't know. Kufelile. Hmm? Kufelile. Kukebile? Kufelile. Kufelile. Ya, ya lozi? Yes. 
Ah, will be learning some laws. We'll be paying. <laughs> <laughs> So, any questions, yeah, Madam Michelle? We do interactions when we get some time. That's your time. Madam Michelle, are you clear yeah. on your questions? Wait, I still have one more question here. Go ahead. I don't even know how to phrase it. Papa, where we use the second and the fourth quadrants, how did that happen? Who wants to answer that one? Well, we're not supposed to use the second and the fourth one. Let's... Eh, hey, Madam Serena, tell me about the question. Ah, uh, it's a question. Ah, but for the answers that we found, but the, the quadrants, the ones we've used, eh, hey, you're not really going to answer, Jane. Are we not supposed to use the, the second and fourth quadrants? How come we use mm. the third and the fourth one? So, yeah, the question was the uh, sign. Mm. Who is calling me? Oh, Gloria, yeah, Kuibara is you can come and get it. Kuibara is here. All right, sure. Yeah, I was typing a certain CV for somebody, so Kuibara is able to have to give it to somebody, but good enough, the person stays near my home. I ask the question. Oh, I was saying that when we get some time, we should be doing a discussion. Oh, yeah. So, you're yeah, all clear, right? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. When we're going to next time, we should just start meeting physically now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. all clear, right? At the end of topic completely, I'm starving. I'm running away. I'll see you on Monday. Madam Jenny, we've got class tomorrow at nine hours for biology. Yeah, I'm meeting my Okay, come in the evening. So it's nine hours, and there should be my Jenny be my son. No, if in the evening we we'll join in the evening. Oh, okay. 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 Thank right. you. Good night. Oh, okay. Good night. Please do the questions, including the last ones for equations. No, okay. So, okay. Madam okay. Zerina, you have to do the equations now on those questions that you are leaving. No, I, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay.